Uh, trade union work in Sweden is dependent on the functioning and development of global trade union work. There is no doubt about that work is dependent on one another. This means each and every one of the millions of workers all over the world who become union members. And the most important point of departure in development cooperations is contributing to the constructions of democratic trade unions in the South and even in the former Eastern Bloc. But another important point is of course also to promote human rights and working life and thus effectively, effectively combating poverty. And trade union development cooperation geared towards strengthening trade unions throughout the world has for many years been an important aspect of the international cooperation between North and South. And strong unions are the most, and we know that, the most effective tool for bringing about changes within a country. And there is undeniable link between union organization and fighting poverty. When people become union members, and are free to demand their individual and collective rights and decent working conditions. They can effectively change power structures and society as a whole. That's why the fight for decent work is so important for us. I will have two statements. First is that we know by experience that the unions have used special position makes us unique and we knew that, that the work we do has positive results. There's no doubt about that. Trade union activities and development cooperation today cover a wide range of issues. Trade union training, human rights in the workplace, the work environment, and more and more negotiations. Work environment issues include not only the place of work itself, but also health issues such as women's health, but also the combat the diseases, for example, TB and HIV AIDS. And there is also a clear link between work environment issues and the external environment. And workers in transport, forestry and agriculture sectors have, have to deal with problems caused by emissions of toxic substances, and which is harmful to the environment and harmful for the climate. So these areas are the core of the permanent debate on our future here on Earth. And we envisage the possibility of increasing our cooperation with other organizations and civil society. I mean, to talk about green jobs, it, it, it doesn't mean that we have to create new jobs. We have to do all the jobs greener. And this is very important for all of us, but I would say especially important for, for the developing countries that we really have a clear strategy for how to get greener jobs. The trade unions represent uh, a unique, as I say, a unique social movement. Apart from the fact uh, they exist basically to protect their members and defend their interests in the workplace and society, the unions are also involved as a social partner at the labor market. Development cooperation takes place between trade union organizations who agree to collaborate on specific issues, which often implies increasing their capacity to represent their members as a social partner, to represent them in negotiating and signing collective agreements. And we know by experience from Sweden and many other countries that collective agreements really are tools which in the long term create conditions for economic growth and development.